What is going on, Hits family? Your girl Kimmy B vibing out with some of our favorite people here in South FLA. We've got the AJR brothers with us, Adam, Jack, Ryan. Welcome back, first and foremost. Thank you so much. Thank Hello. You. No, it's always so great to see you guys. You bring such amazing energy. Now, I do want to congratulate you. I know you have your uh, the Click Spring Tour just kicked off. Right, yeah. Um, 32 dates? Is it, what is it, 32? 32 dates, yeah. 32? Wow, look at right you. On it. Like that. You know your I stuff. My, I do my research. Bingo. Yeah. Uh, but what was even more impressive about that is like, you've got a ton of them that are already sold out, and I'm talking about in some big cities. Yeah, it was very surprising, because we've been doing this for 12 years, um, and we went like 10 years without, without ever selling out a show, and then the right. last two tours, like fully sold out, and this is our biggest tour to date, and like you said, a lot of the dates so far have sold out, to our surprise. And it's cool, we, we doubled and tripled a lot of the venue sizes, but also some of them we like five times, what's the word for that, Qu- quintipled? <laughs> quintuple? <laughs> quintupled, yeah, yeah. I we like quintu- quintipled better. <laughs> we quintipled that's, that's yeah. a lot just, of venues. That's a new hashtag right there, <laughs> I think quintuple. we can make that trend. I think, I think so, so yeah. um, but I was like looking and it was Atlanta and Dallas and LA and Chicago. I mean, these yeah. are big markets. These are, right. I mean, you're performing in venues where the biggest names in music, House of Blues, I mean. Right, yeah. A lot of these people that we look up to are kind of at this level. They do like the House of Blues tour. And it's, I mean, I know that we're at that level now and we're selling it out, but it doesn't really feel like we're at the level of those artists that we look up to. I don't know if yeah. we'll ever feel like it is. Right. Yeah. But that's what makes you guys so amazing. And I think what makes your fans connect so well with you is that I think you kind of give off that we're just like you vibe. In fact, I was looking uh, online today, I was looking at the Sober Up video and mm-hmm. I was just reading some of the comments, which you never know how those are going to go, let's right, be right. honest. Yeah. And the first one that popped up was a young man and he was talking about how excited he was for this tour. He was like, the only time I've ever seen them has been at radio stuff, so like hit sessions. Right, right. And he was like, these are the guys that inspired me to start writing my own music and they'll always Seriously? be. Seriously, wow one of my favorite bands. Like, how does that make you, when you hear something like that? Uh, that's really cool because, so I mean, cool. we've been in that position before. Like, our, our favorite bands, are like the Beach Boys and, like, Fun was, like, a huge inspiration for us. So we've been that person before. So yeah. to be that for someone else is amazing. I think it also just comes from doing it for so long. I feel like they see that we kind of really worked hard for this, and I feel that that kind of motivates them to do sort of the same thing. Well, of course, you're, you're back here in South Florida because you do have one of your Click Spring Tour dates right, tonight yes. at Revolution Live. So, yeah. again, there are some tickets left. They're going to go fast, but if you don't have anything to do or you've never seen AJR perform live, please check them out because I got to tell you, I still to this day hear things from our fans because we do hit sessions. You guys were here for hit sessions. Right, yeah, that was great. And, you know, a lot of times people have never heard of, you know, the artist. It's a great platform for emerging artists. Mm -hmm. And they come to every single one now because they're like, you guys have put me onto so many great new acts, so many great new performers. And they constantly tell us how amazing your energy was and how it was one of the best hit sessions they've ever seen. Wow. Yeah, that's a great setup you guys have. It's a really great idea. So, yeah. Well, no, but I think it also has to do with the artists and you guys just perform your little hearts out. It's (laughs) it's like intense. It's, I mean, it's it's like the energy and this is going to sound horrible, but like Blue Man Group, have you ever seen Blue Man Group where it's like just so intense and big and you guys are banging on the drums and you got the colors going and you're jumping around the stage. Right. They were a huge influence because, yeah, because we're from New York City. (laughs) No, seriously, yeah, because we're from New York City, we get to see a lot of different types of theater Um, and you'll see if you come tonight, uh, this new tour is very theatrical. There's a lot going on, and it's very much a show you haven't really seen in a live concert setting, which is kind of our constant goal. That's so cool. Now, obviously, you guys have been kind of touring with this same music. Mm -hmm. Is that weird for you to think like? Because it's almost like, you know, when we play songs on the radio, a lot of times we'll break a record months before it ever catches on. So, like, by the time it's popping we're kind of like wow we've been playing this song for a long time right. do you get sick of it by not, that point you know not i don't think you ever get sick of great music right do you know what I mean like a great song like there's a song right. that you'll hear forever and for the rest of your life and then there's a song that you loved in the moment because it meant something to you but great music is great music right. but it's like for you guys I, how long ago did you actually you know in my mind it's you guys in the living room of your new york apartment yeah. making this album and and to still be touring and to watching it still grow like you're still releasing songs off this album that you made right a while ago I think it's uh, it's cool because this specific album is really interesting. When did we release The Click? Uh, June of so last year. June of last year, yeah. This album, usually albums kind of just like take right off. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. But this has been a really slow grow, yeah. I think, which is kind of why we've been able to make it last this long. It's been very much friends telling friends yeah. about it. Right, yeah. just the most natural viral way of right. growing. And I think that's kind of ideal for us because I think that's what allows us to play kind of 300-person clubs and then 1,500 and then this. Mm-hmm. 
because mm-hmm. the album just gets bigger and bigger as we right. do, yeah. you know? I think also it was a big goal with the album to not sound like a trend. I think often if you try to sound like, what, what was the trend last year? Chainsmokers. Was that yeah. EDM sound yeah, was right. the yeah, trend. Yeah. And if you try and do that, you can get very sick of the gotcha. sound because yeah, yeah. it comes, it goes. And I think our whole goal was to just sound nothing like anybody else. So you could never really feel dated. You always yeah. are kind of relevant. The other thing with this album is our goal was to write a full album for mm-hmm. people to listen through for like yep. from front to back. And I think even though we're releasing individual songs and have different songs on the radio, it's kind of making people want to hear wh- where others. it fits in the story of the yeah. album. Right. So they're going back to listen to the whole album, which is really cool. That's really special because for somebody that's been in music for a while... I feel like we lost that. You know, you talk to a lot of artists and they're like, oh, I'm just going to put out an EP. Nobody buys full-length albums right, anymore. Right, totally. And, you know, I think it's very true, especially when you're not making cohesive music. But when an artist really sits down and takes the time to tell you a story mm-hmm. from right. beginning to end, there's nothing better than that. Like, we were talking yeah. about Camila Cabello and her, and her new album. And right, the fact that it yeah. just, it honestly, it just, you can put it in and listen to every song. Like, we don't totally through it. And there's nothing better, like, for a person who loves music, when you get that and you're just like, ooh, and I like this one, and I like this one. Totally, right? yeah. And you take them on the journey. Yeah, I, I think that, honestly, I think it's, like, a little bit lazy for artists to be like, oh, people don't buy albums anymore, I'm just going to put out a bunch of singles in a row. That's not true. People buy Adele albums, people buy 21 <laughs> yes. Pilots yes, albums. Yes, they do. People buy really good albums, and if you want to go that extra mile to make one of those few albums that people buys, it's just that much better for the world. So that's our goal anyway, yeah. But that's what's so cool about, like I said, talking to you guys. It's, it's, I think everything you do is, is seem to be long-term. Like, you, you have a vision for where you're trying to go with AJR. Right, yeah, I think that's pretty accurate. I'm glad you noticed that. Yeah, yeah. no, for sure. But it's kind of like, I think people can be fearful of missing their moment. Like you said, when you try to make an album that fits in a time, or yeah. when you try to do something because you've got one single out. Like, you guys have been making music. I know you had... Um, I'm ready, which yeah, was on right. train. I mean, that was a while ago. Right, like, yeah. you know what I mean? So this has been a, this is a buildup, but it's like, you could have either tried to capitalize on that momentum right. and said, right. here you go. And here's all. Yeah. yeah. Right. We or, totally, yeah, we totally could have seen that as the moment. And once that was over, we said, okay, we had our moment and that was it. But you're totally right. I mean, we're on tour right now, but we're already planning what the production is going to be for the next tour. So we're, to- we're always looking forward to the next thing. Well, and that kind of brings me to what I want to talk about to you next. So obviously we have the Click Spring Tour, which is going on right now, and it pretty much takes you up to the summer. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Tonight, Revolution Live, this is going to be your only time to see them in South Florida, correct? Because I don't think you guys are coming back here. No, I mean in Fort Lauderdale. This is Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, that's it. it. So tonight, February 12th, get your tickets. We want to see you there. This is an amazing, amazing uh, show, and you definitely don't want to miss it. But you guys are going to do some festivals, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a couple festivals we're playing. That's got to be kind of intense. I mean, there's a lot, and it's kind of like a mixed bag of tricks at a festival. Right. Like somebody could be coming to see one band, but it's like a great opportunity for you guys to kind of capitalize on other people's fandoms. Totally. Yeah, festivals are so great because everyone is there just for the music, which is so great, and there's just so many different kinds that you get to see. We played a festival. The first one we ever played was like five years ago around I'm Ready, mm-hmm. um, and it was in St. Louis, and we only brought like two or 300 people to the stage. We're on the smallest stage. And then... A like a couple months ago, maybe six months ago, we played Music Midtown and Austin City Limits. Wow. And we expected the same thing to happen. We were like, okay, let's try to get 300 people. Like, if we can get that, it'll be a successful show. And then we look out and we're on the smallest stage and like 10,000 people showed up. <laughs> it was and it, 10, to 000, like yeah. seriously, we were like, no, that's not, we're there at the wrong stage. For sure, we're at the wrong <laughs> Do you know stage. who you're here to see? <laughs> like, hi guys, we're the AJR right. brothers. We were trying to find every explanation besides they're here for us, you right. know, um, which is really cool. And that kind of just shows us the growth. So we really like doing those festivals because mm-hmm. people actually are coming out for us now, which is very, very cool because they have so many crazy names to choose from, you know. Is there a festival in particular that you would love to play maybe internationally? Right. Um, what is the big one in uh, Reading and Leeds? Reading and Leeds is Those huge awesome in Europe. Oh, we really want to play great festivals. Which one? Glasgow. Glasgow. Glasgow has some great right. Right. Gaston- Gastonbury is a big one, right? We yep. really want to play Governor's Ball because that's our uh, that's our city, um, and uh, I feel like that would be really cool <clears> for next year. So but yeah, all of you festival planners out there, <laughs> all of you watching, if you're watching right now. <laughs> hashtag We're just saying Governor's Ball. Governor's they, Ball. Our brother, they will make the time. They will fit you in. <laughs> um, but Talking about that, your city, you have a big date at the end of this tour. Right. You're yeah. going to be back in New York. You're going to be at Terminal 5. Yeah. Like, does that give you butterflies? That's going to be stomach? the biggest, biggest show biggest on the headline tour? show we've ever played. We've ever done. That's like 3,000. I think that it, it's, it's also on track to sell out, too, which is very cool. I give it like a couple of weeks, I think they were saying. Yeah. Um, 
I think that moment will be like one of the best moments of our life because I remember very specifically, we opened for this woman, Lindsay Sterling. I don't mm-hmm. know if you know, she's like a YouTube violinist. She's huge. Uh, we opened for her at Terminal 5. And I remember walking in and saying to myself, like, there's no way we're ever going to headline this. I was saying to myself, like, this is just so out of our reach. This is yeah. like, uh, you know, and the fact that we're like playing it and selling it out and it's just such an iconic venue in our city. It's so seriously surreal. So like, many people tried to convince us to play a smaller venue in mm-hmm. New York. We were told like, oh, you can't sell that. Like, you should just play a much smaller venue. And we said, we want to go for it on this tour. And we went we for it. We proved them all wrong. That's what I'm we saying. We did it. <laughs> I got to tell you, I think part of it has to do with this hat, though. I mean, and this hat has been yeah. on. If this hat could talk, I mean, you have a few of these, right? I do. I have okay. like five or six of these. Okay, yeah. I'm just saying because this one has been pretty much absolutely everywhere. This <laughs> is going to be that thing that ends up in in the museum. It's right, in the videos. It's, fine, it's, it's been on tour. <laughs> it's in, the, in the rock and roll. <laughs> um, I'm definitely super excited for you guys with this tour. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. And you, please, I'll, I'll be following you on social to see how that, that show in New York goes. Oh I know yeah, going to be really special. What if it's just like an absolute disaster? And she's like, Oh <laughs> yeah. God, that was that uh, is never going to happen. But nice try there, buddy. Just like these ten. 1,000 people aren't here to see you when really they were. Right. Um, but what I don't know if everybody knows is that there's so much more to you guys. And I know I didn't know it. I didn't know that we we're like Columbia, NYU guys, right. PhD candidates. <laughs> like I feel like that makes us seem just like, like philosophers. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's... <laughs> But um, no, yeah, we did go, he went, he graduated Columbia, we're technically there now, but we're taking time off in between mm-hmm. semesters to do this, and he's getting his PhD right now over in uh, England, yeah. Yes. Do you know how ridiculous that sounds, like in the best way? No. <laughs> it I sounds say, like a joke. <laughs> I say that because so many kids now that get into this business are homeschooled, their parents right, pay the right. time because they see the long term and they know the commitment that it takes, and it's like, you guys have done the exact opposite of that. Your parents said, no, let's clear out the living room, you're going right. to do this here, you're going to go out into like Central Park, and you're going to perform for people until yeah. you're of age to do whatever else it is that you're going to do, and now it's no education is still important, but I, I wanted to point it out because I think it's so amazing that you guys have really found a way to have it all right yeah i think we have something maybe it's something wrong with our brains but we love working for some reason um (laughs) and we and we don't know how to give up on things that may be it's like a blessing it's a good part of yeah Yeah, that's a good quality you think so yeah we we we're like unable if we start a project Mm -hmm. we're like unable to say all right we're throwing in the towel we tried um and uh, we just really enjoy the work, so it doesn't really feel like work at that point. I don't know. Do you do you feel that? No, with, I like, do. With I mean, radio? I love what I do, and so it's yeah. funny. I think when you love what you do, like that saying, and people look at you like you're crazy. Like if you love what you do, you'll never work a day of your life. Right, right, or, right. But I'm also the worst. If I hate what I do, I'm the worst employee you'll ever have. Which is <laughs> so. My people here should be very grateful that I love what I do because I'll give you, you know, 22 hours out of my 24, 23 hours nap for maybe 59 minutes and then get back up and do it again. Right. Right. But um, I just think that that's really special and I think for kids too because a lot of, are you guys getting music education at Columbia? Are you in this? No, school? we went out of our way to not take any music classes. We wanted to keep that completely separate. Really? Yeah. So you, yeah. yeah it's just really self-taught and yeah, I think I, we're just so immersed. Yeah. I think often if you I don't know, at least for us, if you get too educated in music, you start to learn these are what the rules of music are. And then you kind of, you lose your own creativity and your own so, voice. Yeah, that's a good point. Right. Take that, Berkeley. <laughs> no, go to I'm Berkeley. Not, Berkeley is a good school. I'm yeah. kidding. No, we've had a lot of great people that have come through and blessed yeah. our hit sessions that are our Berkeley. Yeah, totally. But constitutional law. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. I'm working, I'm doing a bunch of work with the UN now with like a focus on human rights with my PhD. And <laughs> what I'm, a wild I'm, reaction. Who says that like that? I'm sorry. I'm doing a bunch of work with the UN right now. And I mean, I'm just traveling around the right. world, saving people's lives, bringing water to unfortunate countries. That's is that what you're doing? Adam, you're is, Adam is the one carrying the water from the, like, from yeah. the river you, to the village. Yeah. Ha- oh, yeah. Definitely. So serious. So this is like you, is this long term goals? I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, we've traveled around the country and the world yeah. so much, and I've seen so many different kinds of people. It's just inspired me to keep my schooling going. Yeah. And um, because I'm studying human rights law, I, I get to see these these laws be in, enacted yeah. in all these different places. So it's, it's really an interesting thing for me to be doing while we're on the road. And I'm sure traveling gives you, like you said, a different perspective. You really get to see definitely. some of these these places, and it, it helps you, you. I think you have a little bit of a better gauge when you actually have things to compare your life to here and the freedoms that we have totally. and versus the injustices of other places. So, again, right. 
hat off to uh, all of you guys because you're really quite impressive, not just on the stage at a Revolution Live or the House of Blues or what you're going to do at Terminal 5. And, you know, we look forward to more music and all of that, that stuff. But just for being able to, to multitask and to juggle, I think that that's, that's inspiring in and of itself. It doesn't have to be, you know, one and done. Like, you don't have to have a one-track kind of path. And you can bring it all together which I think is really really special right yeah I think it's really just about loving what you do like we were saying before we just really like to do a lot of different stuff and if that's your thing cool and if it's not cool yeah I think we're just kind of living our best life yep sure well live it up and then of course let us know obviously we're only a month and a half into 2018 so Mm -hmm. what are the rest of the plans once the click spring tour is done and you have a couple of festivals I know you were talking about the production for the next tour new album we're always thinking about kind of the next thing while we're in the middle of the thing that we're doing right now and that's not a great quality we should probably (laughs) enjoy the moment more Um, but uh, yes we're going to finish out this tour and this is really long we're doing it in legs so the last tour last date is in Boston in May then right we have some festivals and we're going to see how the rest of the album does maybe go with some more singles and kind of yeah. it's kind of just like we'll see what happens at this point yeah yeah it feels like we're on a nice momentum and we just want to see where it goes yeah. are you guys still record like are you recording on the road are you just stopping down to do new stuff we or? sometimes not this tour i feel like once the tour is over we'll like gotcha. recollect our thoughts and maybe start on the next album and figure out kind of a new sound to put out there yeah well, i think we, we only want to write we only want to start working on the next album when we know oh my god here's the sound for the next album we don't want to just start at somewhere and okay. make the click part two. We want something totally new and different. But we are playing some new stuff on this tour that people haven't heard oh, yeah, before. Yeah. So, Very cool. Yeah. Okay, well, again, another reason to go check out the boys tonight <laughs> at Revolution Live. Again, the Click Spring Tour. Most of the dates selling out very, very quickly. Again, there are a few tickets left at Revolution Live, so please check them out. If you haven't seen them, it is your loss. You are definitely <laughs> missing out. Obviously, pick up the click because... It's an amazing album. Oh, thank it you so much. Really, you really have a, I just want to tell you, you have a great interviewing style. Like you, you're very prepared and like very thorough, and you're you're very good at interviews. She's you're, a very good interview style. So. Th- thanks, Dave. I'm just saying we got all of this right. Is recorded? Yes. <laughs> all right. I'm just saying. So that's, that's in the time yeah. capsule. That one yeah. logged. But um, yeah. and then I do just one last thing, and then I will for real let you go. Screenplay. Who wrote the screenplay? Um, I've written a screenplay, yes. And How do you I know mean, that? Where is that even? I don't know. Yeah, me and Ryan are film students, so we're kind of doing that now. Think, your team is pretty impressive. Oh, really? <laughs> or I should say your team thinks you guys are pretty impressive, <laughs> for sure. They make sure to... But yeah, so is this... Yeah, it's something... I, 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 my other like love is film, and same with Ryan, too. Yeah, I've yeah. been writing for a really long time, and I've been kind of immersed in that. So I did, yeah, I wrote a screenplay, and we'll see. I'm still working on it, so we'll see what happens later in our career. Hopefully, we're, we'll use our music platform to kind of transition Well, these are kind world. of the bonuses to uh, you know being on long chores and having road trips and things like that. You can sit mm-hmm. there, and you can right, get right. to writing. It's and a great typing. distraction in case this gets too much. And now yeah. you can make all the money, because if you <laughs> write your screenplay, you score your screenplay. Right. I'm yeah. just saying, you guys are eating from all angles. That's very I like smart. that. Yeah, yeah. That's the New York hustle in you. It is That's very New York. That's the New York, York yeah. hustle in you. <laughs> For sure. I love it. Well, again, thank you guys so much. We wish you the best of luck tonight. Revolution Live, the Click Spring Tour, AJR Brothers. Again, if you have not seen them, you are missing out. So please do go to that show. We appreciate you. And anytime you're in South of LA, please know this is your home. Oh, so thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are super nice. Thank you. It's the new hits 97.3. Yeah. Nice.